some uh, nice and easy ones. Uh, it, the cliche that I've, it's been with all of the clubs and players I've spoken to, whether it's United or St. Johnson with Jason Kerr, is that you're the massive favourites, uh, but actually it doesn't really matter how you get through as, as long as you get through. Yeah, exactly. Um, we've done a, a lot of preparation building up to the game so far and um, also got an hard day's training to, to really kind of hone in on what we want to do in the match. And um, I have... We're, we're treating it like every other game, preparing properly um, and looking to put on a good a good performance and get in that track. Obviously, the tricky bit of this is the long trip down to, to Steer Park and Stranraer are notoriously good on their home patch. And actually, their, their, their form's been pretty decent in the last few weeks. So uh, as much as they might be exhausted from playing <coughs> four games a week just about, they will be they will be tricky opponents. Yeah, exactly. Also, for the kind of look at and um, the, the last few games, and obviously the, the, their matches are coming thick and, fa- thick and fast at the minute, um, which is it's probably a bit unfair to these sort of clubs. But um, it's the way it's got to be to finish finish their campaigns. And um, aye, but as you said, they're coming off the back of good form. So when you're in good form, you just want the next game to come. And uh, I'm, I'm sure they'll be mentally and physically prepared for us, just as we will be for them. You've got to right a wrong, if you like, um, with the cup this year. Obviously, the league cup wasn't the the outcome you wanted um, <clears throat> in that in that semi final. But you've got a really good chance to get all the way through to the final this year because of the way the draw is and the added incentive, I suppose, as well. You know, the sad news that Ryan Jack's going to miss the Euros, but you're right on the edge of of, of getting into that squad if your foreman uh, continues to be this good this season. Yeah, um, obviously there's there has been disappointments throughout this season, but that that comes throughout every season. You're not going to go through plain sailing, um, but the majority of this campaign has been positive for us. Um, again, we see this another opportunity to take a step further, um, and I think I think the disappointment disappointment sorry have been so big because they're in major tournaments and they're at the final stages, and that's what makes them so heartbreaking. Um, and difficult to get over. So, but on the flip side, of that you've got to look at. We are getting to these situations time and time again. Um, so, as I said, this is another opportunity to, to put ourselves in, in these big matches, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, we'll go one further. But that's that's a, a fair bit down the line um, right. ahead of this game. So, Paul, do you think that um, experience that you've got now of reaching semi-finals and even finals recently in, in terms of that can uh, give you that sort of, you know, that that experience now to, to get over the line. Do you, do you think you've 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 been the fact you've been there so regularly will, will help uh, going into the, the sort of latter stages of this tour? Yeah, yeah, you'd like to you'd like to think it does, but everybody knows cup football, and that's why you need to kind of you need to always prepare properly and um, be as professional as you possibly can for for every single round, and that's what we'll be doing this weekend. Um, but we've got experience of going to hand in, um, but that doesn't prepare us for going to Stranraer away. So, um, as I said, we just need to kind of uh, look at this match, um, do a professional job hopefully this weekend and get us in the next round. It's one of the sort of more unique grounds in, in Scotland. Have you been down there before? Nah, I, I don't think I've ever been. So, um, ah, it's, it's, a, it's a fair journey away. Um, and now nah, it's... It's another one to kind of tick off the list in terms of my professional career, going to different stadiums, you, you want to do that. Um, lower leagues, higher leagues, European football, you want to kind of experience as much as you can throughout your career. So um, I'm looking forward to, to a trip down there at the weekend. We always say these kind of ties, especially when you're going away from home, are sort of banana skins, but do you think when not having the crowds there, does that, does that take some of the sort of you know risky factor away from it? Um. I'm not sure really. I think I think there's still still a massive a potential banana skin for us. They're, they're, as you say, they're, they're a team that are that are in form. They've been winning games recently, so that makes them very dangerous. Scoring goals as well. So, um, ah, we, we can't be taking them lightly, and we won't be taking them lightly going into the match. Um, and as I say, try. To, we know if we can perform perform well in the day, then that should be enough to to get us into the next round. So it's it's up to us to do that. Um, Paul, can you remember what you were up to five years ago today? Uh, I think I was watching a Conrad Logan masterclass. <laughs> Sitting behind you anyway. <laughs> I mean, when, uh, you, yeah, when nah, you look at that, it's 
quite a, something that day. No, no, it was incredible. Just the whole story behind it and um, for him to be such a hero on that day was just, just incredible. Um, what an individual performance. And obviously there was a kind of Jason Cummins sideshow as well, taking, missing the penalty and then, um, scoring the winner as well. So it's, uh, uh, it's a, a good day to look back on and uh, uh, a kind of big part of the story of winning the Scottish Cup. Mm. Did it still sort of frighten you? I mean, you could go to Stranraer and I mean, if everybody was sitting and things like that, you could still line up with three of the guys that were, or all of the guys even, that were in that back lane with you that day. Yeah, um, yeah, it shows there's a, a bit of continuity to the squad and the guys that have been here a, a while um, and I've, I've been fortunate enough to to lift this trophy, so I say we'll be trying to pass on a bit of experience uh, to the boys that, that have experienced it. But I think there's lads that have played down in the FA Cup and place that as well, where there's there's potential banana skins all over the place there as well. So um, it's just cup football, really. And um, most of the players have been involved in a first team environments long enough to know how you need to treat these games. Mm, any messages going down south to, to Conrad today? No, no, I'm not for a while actually, but. Um, I'm sure oh, for, it'll be a while to come anyway every time this, this day comes around he gets remembered and, and rightly so because what performance he put on that day and got us to the final What would the Scottish Cup win in 2016 is that be your, your best moment of your, your career so far? Aye uh, definitely um, I'd probably go as far as saying I'd have to do really really well to ever match that to be honest um, obviously desperate to, to add to that between now and the end of my career uh, hopefully an Irish Scottish Cup potentially a League Cup whatever um, I can get my, get my hands on um, but in terms of the way that that went um, that was just, just incredible to obviously everyone knows how how long it had been since I've won that Cup so um, I'd be a Hibs fan as well just a, a really special moment for me um, and my family to, to be part of that squad it's, it's, uh, it's massive for me during that cup winning season, I think you t- scored probably one of the most pivotal goals on this, the the cup run against Hearts. Is that some? Do you think of that a lot? Like what could have been? Had, you know, that, you know one um, that, what, oh, no, I wouldn't would say I think I've come out a lot now. It's probably like to like to now when you have to kind of speak to you guys and uh, on Scottish Cup weekends it kind of comes up a bit more. But um, I, it was probably one of them that. I had I was delighted to score at Tyne Castle again, being a Hibs fan, scoring against Harps, it was all great, but um I probably don't realise the significance until we, we do do go on and lift us lift the cup and um, realised how much a, a pivotal moment it was. And uh with Celtic Rangers, I suppose, meeting um this weekend, one of them gets knocked out. Does that open up the, the draw for, for Hibernian and also I suppose the League Cup final shows that, you know, teams out with the big two can actually go on and uh, win a trophy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You kind of, you're always kind of looking at your pathway. We obviously know what lies ahead um, with the way the format's been this year in terms of drawing the next the next two rounds. So we know what's ahead of us um, if we do progress progress this weekend. So, um, ah, yeah, listen, the also I'm always going as strong favourites to these competitions, but um, we're one we're one going out this weekend, then it, it does open up an opportunity for other teams, and we like to think that we are we're in that category. Just finally for me, I know Chris mentioned earlier um, international aspirations. You've been involved in Scotland squads. How confident are you that you could maybe play yourself into to Steve Clark's for the Euros? Ah, well, obviously, it's always been an ambition I mean, to, to play for my country. And luckily enough, with the, with the form I've had this season, that, that, that's got me that this year. Um, delighted to get that cap and uh, to know that, that you are kind of in amongst the manager's thoughts. Um, Every player will stay the same, but it's it is really all about you performing well for Hibs um, and Hibs being successful. That's that's a big a big part of it as well. Uh, being part of a successful Hibs team will will undoubtedly uh, help my chances. Um, so that's that that is my main focus to try and finish the season strongly, um, cement third place, and, and see how far we can go in the cup. And and if that leads to, to anything else in terms of internationally, then I'll, I'd be absolutely over the moon. But um, I know first and foremost that I need to be doing it we can look out for Hibs Thank you Paul after the club cemented their place in the, the top six this season how important is it for the club to get a run in the Scottish Cup? 
yeah, it's always it's always an ambition. Um, as I touched on earlier, it's it's we, we've performed well enough in recent years, just just not got to that that kind of final or or on to win win the trophies. But we're we're getting to the latter stages regularly, so um, we want to continue that, and then obviously we, we want to go that step further. We're we're getting to these. These big matches at hand, did, but but just not coming out, out on the right side. The last the last few occasions, so we need to put that right. But um, as I touched on earlier, we, we need to um, go to Stranraer first and take care of that, and then and then we can start looking forward. Do you think, as a team, having been there twice this season in semi-finals and lost, that you can learn some lessons from those games? I know you've obviously got this tight to come through first, but do you think, as a squad, you can learn something from those two defeats so far this season in cup competitions? Yeah, you'd like to think you take learnings from from each individual match in terms of where you went wrong. But if you if you learn from these errors, it doesn't mean that you automatically win win the next semi final. They're all completely individual matches, but you need to you need to treat that way. And um, as I said, we're obviously nowhere near that stage yet. But if we were, then we'd be preparing as we do for every other opponent and trying to well, the manager would be trying to work out a game plan that that would win these games. But as I said, but we're not, not at that stage yet. Uh, just finally for me, Paul, um, after last week missing out probably a point at Ibrox, can the squad take a lot of confidence in that performance that you put in at the weekend? Yeah, I think so. I think in terms of the number of chances that we created, a um, lot, lot of shots on target, um, a, a few opportunities to, to get at least a point from the match was, was a positive. Um, we came off the pitch thinking that we deserved and we potentially could have got more from that match so I think that's a step in the right direction but um, at the end of the day we, we didn't get anything from the match so um, it's just about kind of getting to that next level where we're, we're going to Ibrox and we're, we're taking points and we're, we're getting wins on a, on a regular basis which I think over the course of our matches with Rangers this season we, we probably deserved a, a bit more than what we've got.